What's up guys, this is Jason from Newmark. Today we're talking about the Newmark Orbit and the DJ application that comes with it. Uh, keep in mind that the Newmark Orbit DJ app is something just to get you going out of the box. There's plenty of controls for looping, hot cues, effects, and EQs. Let's take a look inside the software. Okay, so here we have Orbit DJ application. We have uh, deck A and deck B. And the way that we load tracks into the application is we have an iTunes window or a uh, finder window or just a folder inside of Windows. And we just find a track we want and drag it onto the deck. And we can also take a closer look at the waveform of the track by clicking this plus sign on either deck. Let's take a look at the controls on the Orbit and how they react inside the DJ application. So pad bank 1 is your deck A controls. Pad bank 4 is your deck B controls. Pad bank 2, effects for deck A. And pad bank 3, effects for B. And you can see that inside the DJ application, they switch to show you exactly which bank you're in. On top, you're going to have your volume, controlled by the, the volume knob here. And K4 is going to be the crossfader between A and B. So let's put it back at the center. Let's take a look at some of the button functions on pad bank A. So on your left side here, we have the play and pause button, your back button, which will go all the way back to the beginning of the track. Below that are your four hot cues. To assign a hot cue, press this corner button, and then set your hot cue. To delete the hot cues, press the button right next to the corner button, and this will delete all hot cues at the same time. On your right side here, we have our back, which skips back just one beat your loop out button, your four loop buttons, and your manual loop buttons. So here we have increments of one bar, two bar, a four bar loop, as well as the eight bar. And when you press the loop button again, it will cut the loop in half. And then press the top button to get out of the loop. And we can do it manually, loop in, loop out and exit the loop. Okay, let's take a look at the effects. Remember, the effects are on pad bank 2 for deck A and pad bank 3 for deck B. Inside the effects page, you have flanger, flash, shutter, and some repeat options. Also across the bottom are your EQ kills. The very top right corner is going to be a filter. Across the top, you have your virtual knobs. You have your low EQ cut, your mid, and your high EQ cut. The fourth knob is still your crossfader, so while you're in your effects page, you can still crossfade or blend between tracks. You can also use the accelerometers on the left and right to adjust or manipulate the effects in different ways. Let's see what that sounds like. Mm -hmm. 